As much as we all love Einstein, we know that his theory of general relativity is incomplete. But why? Well, for one, it doesn't go along with quantum mechanics. Quantum particles such as electrons are in superposition, meaning that the particle exists in multiple places at the same time before measurement. But since electrons have mass, and according to general relativity, mass curves space-time, does that mean that there's multiple values of curvature at the same time? Well, the thing is, general relativity says nothing about superposition. And even if we did try to observe the effects of gravity in the quantum world, gravity is just way too weak compared to the other forces to be detected at subatomic scales. Reason number two and why it's incomplete. It can't explain cosmology without also telling us that 95% of our universe is made up of dark, unknown stuff. If you take a look at a galaxy, you see that it's bright at the center, meaning that's where all the mass is concentrated. So our theory of gravity tells us that as you get further out, the rotation should get slower. But in reality, the outskirts of galaxies are moving way faster than predicted. So there must be some type of mysterious matter over there. Dark matter. Also, there's something out there that's counteracting gravity that's causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate, hence dark energy, both of which make up 95% of the universe. Real? We'll find out soon. And third, it predicts the existence of singularities, which are technically mathematical concepts where a function becomes undefined, but they so happen to exist in black holes, making them points in space-time where all of physics breaks down. Finding the answer to all of these could perhaps bring us one step closer to finding our ultimate theory of everything.